morning. Just got done taking kids to school. Gonna go back to the house, swap Kayla's Suburban out for my pickup, and uh, we'll get this day started. So today we're going to haul some corn. The question is, what are we going to drive? Still can't get the black truck to start. Something's going on with it. It's losing its fuel prime. So we're probably going to be grabbing one of the Peterbilts and hooking up it back up to the other trailer. Come on, baby. To the Peterbilt we go. Now with the first load we go finally. So dad's gonna sit here and watch the watch the light keep our holding bin full. We load out of a holding bin over here, holds 1800 bushel, but right now it's pretty much empty. If that bin is full, we can load a truck in 15 to 20 minutes. If it's empty, eh, closer to 30. So he's gonna sit here and fill that up for us. That way me and BJ can uh, get some, some trucks headed in town. So we're hauling beans now. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll haul some more corn, I don't know. Well, ain't gonna be super fast, doesn't look like. So we are trying to get this grain hauled today and probably tomorrow. Now this grain doesn't have to be in there until the end of the month, and this is uh, January 9th, but we are at the time of the year where if we have good weather, that's when we want to haul and right now it's cold but it's not like icy the roads aren't froze up or the roads aren't salty or anything we try to take advantage of this kind of weather and really try to get all the grain hauled when it's nice like this if possible so we're really rushing and that's why Ooh, it's getting cold but we are loaded heading out Dad went after a load of gravel for me from my driveway at the new house because, well, I need some gravel back here. So he will be back here to keep pumping up directly. BJ is dumping now, hoping to each get one more truck, but man, we're gonna be pressed for time. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Run out of time. They close in 45 minutes. holding bin has enough in it, we will just make it. But if we gotta wait on that holding bin, eh, I don't know. We didn't make it. it. Took 45 minutes to load this truck. So really glad we're overhauling this place because man, that is, that is slow. But uh, truck's loaded for tomorrow, I guess. Cargo closed at four. There goes dad with our FD 75 McDonald, which is for sale at the low price of $35,000. If you are interested, you may uh, email me, link in the description for details. BJ's loading out this last load and just informed us that the, the gearbox blew up in the, the unload auger, which is how we get grain from these bins across the drive through into the leg. Fantastic. Really needed that to last for about another 50,000 bushel. Cause it's getting replaced. Yep, gearbox is, it's tanked, but we got some gravel to go spread before it gets dark. Uh, 
We're not going to mess with that right now because there's really nothing we can do with it. It's going to be dark in about 30 minutes. I forgot my glasses in the, in the truck. Better get, better get those. Definitely more of a contact kind of person, but eyes are still healing from the pink eye. We're going to spread gravel with this, but probably not with the pallet force. Driveway is definitely not done, but we're out of gravel. Morning. So today is an absolutely miserable day. It is like 40 degrees, 37 degrees, something like that, and raining. Uh, I'd prefer it to snow at this point, but anyways, we're gonna head up to the shop, get my pickup truck, and then we're gonna go back to hauling some beans while we can. Change plans. It's pouring rain. So we are gonna do some work on some stuff here in the shop. We've still got some wires to pull out of the gleaner. A couple other things Dad wanted to make. A couple modifications to our Oxbow, as far as mounting a radio and a mirror. Huh? It needs to, oh, okay, that's I thought I had to come in, okay. Is that okay right there? Yeah, it's just looped right there. Well, Pull it in now. So that's the or that's the radio that was in you know, the, that combine. So since we've traded those combines off, and now we only have two com or one combine, so two has spare radio. Morning, next day. Back to all on corn. The rain is finally over. That's probably the most rain we've got at one time. Probably a year. Yeah, probably a year. And I miss smoke. We're not hauling corn, we're hauling beans. So I got a loaded truck here in the hoop barn. And we're gonna head to Cargillia. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. So last night I came home, took Dax to wrestling practice and there are some lights in my driveway. Now this driveway is about almost a mile long and it intersects with a neighbor's driveway. And I was like, well, maybe one of the neighbor's contractors got lost. They've been doing a lot of remodeling over there. And then I thought, well, maybe it's a kid doing donuts. So I kind of started getting a little angry. Get over there and realize that it is in fact an older gentleman and a tow truck. The man had been, uh, redirected down my driveway by Google Maps and tried to turn on a road that hasn't existed in about 40 years probably. Uh, it's actually just a field. And he definitely got stuck in my water line. Yeah, that was fun. It's okay, he survived, nothing was broken. I wasn't angry when I realized what was going on, but sometimes you just gotta not follow Google Maps. He said he was just taking it for granted that was the road because Google told him or Apple or whoever he was using and it was in fact a bean field. Probably a 75 year old man. Wasn't even for my generation. not the greatest idea as you can see we switched to corn for a couple loads that's because the holding bin at the other place is empty I was gonna be waiting on it anyways 
I get a load of that side draw in about three minutes. So we're coming back over here to get a load of beans. Got a massive pile of lime in there. It needs to get applied at some point, but as you can see, just a bit too too wet at the moment. I don't know what else can go wrong here, but gearbox broke on this side. We can't get beans out of these three bins till that gearbox gets fixed. And now the load auger on the one bean bin on this side that we can still get beans out of that bin and in this holding bin. Can't get the unloader turn on. Push button. Well, bad. It's wet and raining and cold. It's my favorite time to work on stuff with my fingers. Like, you know, where you need to be able to move little screws and whatnot. Now, it may seem like we've let this place get run down and just not, kind of neglected it and not kept up on maintenance, but we don't own this place. We have none of the maintenance that has been funded. We own a percentage of this, so it takes two to tango, as the saying goes. But all this stuff that's going wrong would be replaced when we redo this place this year. So if you're wondering why we've never sank a boatload of money into here and only sink money into the other places, because the other place is all ours. Folks, that is it for this video. We ended up getting the elevator up and going. Ended up being a breaker for the starter motor i was hitting the reset but the reset was broke inside so took the cover off hit the button worked fine anyways thanks for watching do me a favor follow us on tiktok twitter facebook and instagram if you have those platforms at brian's farming videos drop us a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't we'll see you tomorrow